around the time that I was getting ready to do Bachelor Party, um, I hadn't really done uh, a movie in, in about, I think it was about two years. Once Bachelor Party started forming into the movie it was going to become, I began thinking of like, is there is there anything else I could do? Because this is kind of like an experimental thing I'm doing right now. This is this is a weird kind of like idea. I ended up coming up with two other ideas uh, of movies that were experimental in nature to me, and the second movie, without a doubt in my mind, I knew was gonna finally be the movie the project that I had codenamed Drunk Movie that I had been wanting to make for ages. Uh, and that's what ended up becoming Drunk Max. <laughs> the idea of the film was that it, it would be the second experimental movie and the experiment would be, can I make a movie entirely drunk? Can I do the every single stage, the, the pre-production, production, production and, and post, of making a movie entirely drunk. For the pre-production, uh, I basically the whole way it began was I got drunk one day and uh, I started outlining what the movie would be. To, to kind of prepare myself, all I wrote at the very beginning, I put like a little header and I wrote, this movie is about a guy named Max who likes comics. That's all I wrote. And if you notice, the first line of the movie is, Hello, my name is Max, and I like comic books. And that's it, he never mentions comics again. And once I had a pretty solid outline, I started um, writing the script. And so pretty much I completed the, the first and only draft, because I really wanted to capture that almost lightning in a bottle thing. I didn't want to get drunk again and go back and edit, I said no. And we finally entered the final stages of pre-production, and that was all right, you know, bachelor party's out, let's make Drunk Max. So then we entered the production phase, and um, this was around, I believe it was around January we started filming, late January. I would, I would prepare myself a drink, and I would tell my wife, who was with me every single day we shot, Rebecca was there. And um, I would tell her, okay, I'm gonna get drunk now, you know, let's just hang out, lounge about, we'll get drunk, and then the second I get drunk, I could start directing, and we, could, we can go about doing it. And then, you know, we started shooting the stuff, we would, we would uh, you know, so we'd chill before, hang out, and then start filming. And then, uh, basically at the end of the day, we would wrap, that was it. And while I was still drunk, I would get the footage and quickly upload it to my computer and cut as much as I could that day of the stuff, just so I can have, you know, this, this thing done. And then I would spend a few days drinking and getting drunk again and cutting the movie together. And I would never, ever edit the movie unless I was drunk. That was a big promise I had to keep for myself. When everything was done, I saw the movie twice. I saw it once drunk and thought it was amazing. I thought it was exactly what I wanted. It was perfect, it was great, it was so fantastic. And then I saw the movie sober and my honest first reaction is, oh my god, what the fuck have I done? Um, so the people in the movie, um, not a whole lot of people. <laughs> Um, for me, you know, playing Max was really fun. Once I put on the, the outfit, the jacket and all that, um, I would start acting like Max, even when the cameras were turned off. I was very much like, you know, um, not making things appear out of thin air, but I was being very silly, just as the character is. Stranger, then we'll cover my noche noche. I'm part Hispanic. His panic at the disco. Rebecca was really great. She helped. She was, like I said, there behind the scenes every day. She was the camera operator for pretty much the entire movie. She also played Brumhilda, uh, but she was really great at it. Um, that pancake flip she got, I think, in like her second take, and that was really impressive. Good for me. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Lena and uh, uh, Henry came in together on the same day. He was the only actor, by the way, that got drunk for the movie. I thought he knocked it out of the ballpark. I thought he was really cool at it. I did nothing wrong either. Uh, Lena was there too. She actually plays a character that's going to appear in uh, Party Animal, the third experimental uh, trilogy movie. Uh, it, was, it was probably the quickest thing we had ever done in a movie together and she did a great job at that. Come and slap me in the face! 
left the toilet seat down on my house, ass. Uh, Brian, I think, was the same day as Lena and Henry. Um, he came in and he did three different takes for the shot that he's in. And uh, all three of them were very different um, takes. I really liked the straight one. I thought it was really funny how he said everything, so stuck that in the movie. Um, plus, I got him to say, my name is Brian Rye, uh, which is the silly nickname I came up with him for him ages ago. I declare myself Brian Rye, and I am bald from the Thunderstorm. Um, Holta was the last uh, person I shot. He was... Um, he came in near the end of uh, filming. We pretty much shot everything except for that one shot that we needed of him. Um, but I, I was very happy with that. It's a Fortnite! Um, and you know, the whole experience, uh, it, it was such a weird movie. Because I really felt like I was in my own world. And I didn't know what the hell I was going to see when everything was done. Um, but I'm very pleased with it. I'm happy that people uh, enjoy Drunk Max. Probably the one of, one of the most fun shoots I've ever had because all I did was get drunk and make a movie. Um, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to completing the Experiment Trilogy and I'm very much looking forward to, con to uh, continuing the Drunk Max Trilogy. I hope you guys dug the movie. Yeah.